Why well, hello ladies and gents, this is part 8 of our Swindon Town career mode. We're going to go straight back into this game and we will be playing Port Vale away with the Mighty Robins. Let's see if we can get a result. Hopefully we can, we have been in relatively good form. Which is really to be expected actually, because I do have quite a good team for this league. Just watching all the players come out. I can't actually think what Port Vale's ground is. So if anyone can actually comment what Port Vale's home ground is, that would be quite interesting. I will actually quite appreciate that. This is completely eluding me at the moment, the name of Graham. Let's see the Port Vale lineup. I don't know anyone in that lineup actually. No, Alex Nimini, I think I know. I don't know Marsh Brown, I don't know Brown, I don't know any of them. But it's not every away game is difficult, but I think only Nimini. Where is it? Well, I think he's a Man City Loney or X player. Well, half now, I'm no idea. We're going this with Fodrenham, Burn, Turnbull. Which comes back up on Fries, Tafolo, Loftus Cheek, Thompson, Livakovic, Tony, Lugunga, and Mastur. So, one of our stronger lineups. Definitely in the midfield and the up front areas. Well, I pick up all three points this game. Let's get right back in, into it. It's moving on. It's in the fifth minute. It's Tony on the ball, trying to create a bit of space, trying to work some bit of magic. It's Tony. It's Tony, what's he going to do? And he puts it wide. But no, it's actually it's a corner. Quite surprisingly. And that was surely destined for the net, surely, without that block. Corner being taken. We get anything like this, and oh, decent save. And oh, we're trying to get it back in the net. And oh, how has that not gone in? How has that not gone in? If that was me, that would have been like deflected off the, the defender onto the goalie and just would have happily got in the net. I'm trying to create another fashion, another chance here. And there's a back of it. What can he do? Bangs it. And still can't get a go out of this. Port Vale on the attack now, Dickinson. Trying to tuck inside of it, accept it with Lavakovic back to Thompson on the right wing position. It's Tony! And it's quite well saved actually in the end. And that was literally the f all the chances in the first half. We really should be winning. But I didn't create an outstanding variety of clear cut opportunities in that, in that game. Or within that half, I should say. I've got some options. Unfortunately, I've still got a beaker on the bench, which is not the, my most favourable option. Cause it's like bringing on a giant elephant, and he's pretty bloody useless. What for Val kicking off? It's 48 minute trying to get Lugunga in, trying to get Lugunga in, and just can't get in. Thought I was possibly gonna get a penalty here, but it's Tony. What can he do? Tries to bang it, and it actually ends up going out for a throw. -in. It's not Tony's best effort, but I thought I would try it. Now, 75th minute, not been a lot of chances. Thompson the ball to a beaker. It's a beaker. It's Thompson. Crosses it in to Kasim. It's narrowly wide, which perhaps should have got a go out of that. Much to my annoyance. It's the Vakovic. What can he do? What can he do? Just can't get a goal out of it either. Oh, it's a beaker. Need another chance. And that was it. Rest of the end of that game, more or less. Not a lot of great excitement, you could say. Much to my annoyance, and we didn't actually pick up all three points, which pissed me off a fair bit. I was quite annoyed, I didn't have one shot, and I was the away team. I had seven on target and didn't get a goal, so it's probably quite poor finishing from me, to be 100% honest. Looking at some of the other results, MK Dons run. What, did, what was Peter Brown's result? They won 1 0 away at Walsall. Let's looking at some of the better teams. Bristol City, not County. Now we're going to a game against Barry away in the FA Cup. And the FA Cup is quite important in my opinion on FIFA because for a Championship, League 1 and League 2 team you actually do get a fair decent amount of money off it compared to the League Cup you literally get nothing. And it's wrong because Cup competitions are huge boosts for clubs such as these. I'm just looking at my other fixtures. I'm just trying to show you some of the results that perhaps haven't been recorded because I've had a lot of trouble with this game cap game catcher just decided not to record things but sometimes you, it's, it's full of best because you don't miss out a lot although that Barnsley away game was really really annoying I was thoroughly annoyed with that and the crew uh, away was a decent result for me but it happens sometimes with technology it doesn't always work well I'm quite happy with the way my team is looking Look, Gungu's right at 69 he 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 but on a, on a serious note, quite a nice rating. Lugungu! 
I'm one nil, already, already one nil up against MK Doms, and I'm a very happy boy about this. Sorry for it, just, we just end up going right into this. Mr. Vakovic, 2 0. 2 0 to the boys. And Vakovic buries it quite easily. We've got the Vakovic again, what could he do? Powering away, powering away, powering away, the Vakovic. It's 3 0. 3 0. Vakovic is a monster, to be fair. Though. And the start for any reason, oh yeah, the reason I actually didn't end up showing all that game was because I won 4 0, but it cut in the second half of the game, so that's why you just saw those goals. My memory just been jogging her. Yes, yeah, so but now we do go in against Barry, because I did want to show the MK Don the result. So it was 4 0, Mastura actually scored a really nice goal. But playing against Barry, see why players looking so happy in this weather. Quite like Barry's kit and badge, to be honest. I don't normally go for teams in red kits. And they do have a few decent players for the two. So this will not be an easy game, so we need no pushover. Or walkover, I should say. Let's see how the lineups are. Who do I know? I know Nathan Cameron, he's a very decent player. Very good centre back. Tom Eves is not that bad. Neil Adams and Danny May are two not bad players at all. I mean, is that Kelvin Atuhu? He might actually be the old one, I'm not sure. The old Nigerian one that used to play for Fulham, I believe. Let's see our lineup today. We've got Fodrenham, Bartham, Turnbull, Thompson. Bit of a change of lineup because this is not really my forward side. Nearly my full midfield, but it certainly ain't a full defence. It's giving you an entire different defence apart. Just because I'd, I would like to progress in the FA Cup, but in the end of the day, it's the league that I'm actually worried about. Way more concerned about. Re kick off. Going into the fourth minute here, and it's Barry. What can they do? Mayo puts in a cross, and it's Eves. And oh, and that sh probably should have done a lot much better with that. The Gongu to Gladwin. Ben Gladwin, what can he do? He's trying to make a bit of space, and he bangs it. Oh, and it's a bit wide, but it's quite a nice little hit for a player of Ben Gladwin's quality. The Gongu to Lavakovic. It's Gladwin again. No, Swift, I should say. It was actually a foul to me. Swift was just caught just as he was playing the ball. I got a bar for him standing over it. And I'm thinking who else would be better to take this? So I think Mastur, because he doesn't offer a lot of air abilities. Mastur puts in a ball, and it's a good decent ball, and it's Gadwin! It's 1 0 to the boys, 1 0 to Swindon Town. I don't normally score from set pieces, but I was actually really chuffed for this when it went in. So I put the set piece right in the danger area, and I was literally asking for a goal. I was actually just telling someone to go and head that ball in, and Gladwin happily obliged. Really decent header as well. Gets there just before the goal began. I think he would have scored that anyway. Even if the keeper did remain at home. And 1 0 to Swindon. And then difficult away game at Bury. 38th minute now. Dispossessed the Bury player. Swindon moving on the attack. It's Taggart. It's Target. What can he do? What can he do? What can he do? He just gets tackled and has a little bit of a little macky fit on the floor. That's my stir running down on the wing. It's my stir. Nice little bit of skill, still Mister, still Mister, still Mister. It's a really impressive run. It's a good ball. Isn't it? Ooh. I was really, really gutted that I actually did not get a goal out of that because I thought that was quite an impressive run from Mister. Just annihilating the Barry defence like they weren't even now and bypassing the midfield. And quite a decent result at half time. I'm happy with one nil. Would like another goal because one nil is always quite dodgy against world class AI. God knows what playing against like legendary AI. AI, I'd probably have a heart attack after a few games, just getting sick of playing against them. Well, class is frustrating enough when you actually play really well and don't get the result. 50 minute in, Berry on the attack, trying to create something. We've got Mayer on the ball, decent player. What's he going to do? Not really closing him down well enough, puts in a decent ball. It's Jones. Zeeves, ooh, it's a decent bit of positioning from Fodrenham. 72nd minute, Rodgers is on the ball, Stavakovic. Stavakovic is swift. Swift surely should be an end product. It's a decent ball in. And Stavakovic just can't get there. Two decent balls I put in and he just hasn't been able to get on the end of them for me. Look, Jones on the ball now. Barry, they put in a decent ball. I'm trying to defend it. Scuttling away. It's Canrum. It's Hussey. And it's a decent save. And I thought that was going to fall back in behind Fodrenham. A good save. It's really well hit by Hussey. Barry with the corner. 85th minute. Cameron's taking it, which is a bit of a poor choice considering he's on their centre backs. 
and I am so lucky. How did I not say oh, I actually not a score from that? It's beyond me. 90th minute, will we get the result? Will we hold on? Yes, we do. We do hold on against Barry. We progress in the FA Cup. The Magic Colour Cup is surely alive. Hopefully we can progress further in the FA Cup because I would like to try and win a competition such as that. The stats were quite in our favour, but second half I was actually quite badly dominated by Barry. I was rowing. See more the FA Cup results going down on there. And I shall see you next time, ladies and gents. I hope you enjoyed the video. I shall see you play next week. That's late. I reckon Sheffield United. Overall, see you next time. Goodbye for now.